finally made it to the famous Royal Gorge Bridge. Yeah! I'm scared of heights, but I'm not scared here on the bridge. Hello everyone and welcome to another Trekspedition video. In this video, we will take you through the famous Royal Gorge Bridge. From Denver, Colorado, it's about a two and a half hour drive on I-25 South to Canyon City. From there at about 13 miles east, it is easy to spot the signs that can lead you to the Royal Gorge Bridge Park. We finally made it to the Royal Gorge Bridge. We got here early at 9 o'clock so we can scope out the scene, but it doesn't open till 10. These are some of the original steam engines, trains that would take you through the gorge. Go to royalgorgebridge.com for prices and more information and view the popular attractions the park offers. Entrance fee includes the gondolas for as long as you remain in the park. However, there is an extra charge for additional rides. Construction began on June 5, 1929. Men worked at intimidating heights for seven months until the completion. The Royal Gorge Bridge became America's highest suspension bridge in December of 1929. It is 1,260 feet long, 18 feet wide, and 956 feet from the bridge deck to the Arkansas River below. It's amazing. Apparently, every flag is here from the United States. Here we found the Colorado flag. Here we are at some viewpoints. Look at the gorge behind us. I'm going to zip line across that. Should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. If you're enjoying this video, click like, subscribe to our channel, and get notified for new releases. The original cable. A wildfire has destroyed much of the park with extensive damage to the famous bridge. In June 2013, the fire damaged nearly all structures on both sides of the Royal Gorge Park, but the suspension bridge appeared to be in good condition, although about 100 of its 1,292 wooden planks were damaged. The fire was confirmed to be human-caused. Rebuilding of the park began immediately. A new park was rebuilt with a brand new visitor center, landscaping, and new gondolas. A few months later, additions were added, such as America's highest zip line, the Cloud Scraper, the Sky Coaster Swing, and a children's playland. Finally, a grand reopening was celebrated May 8, 2015. Located just behind the visitor center, the water clock is the only one of its kind in Colorado. Water cascades from bucket to bucket as it keeps accurate time. This is a replica of the original water clock, which was destroyed during the Royal Gorge Fire. We're currently heading towards the gondola and the zip line. Getting ready to do the zip line across the gorge. Check this out. As soon as it opens, I'll be taking the zip line across and then Kelly and I will take the gondola together as well. I'm gonna go twice. That was spectacular. Wait till you see the drop. Somebody actually got stuck out there, but they have protocols for rescue.
There we go. They say it's pretty common that this happens. There's the train tracks we were on. Haven't seen the train yet though. It's just a beautiful day here at the Royal Gorge. If you want a place to hang out and just have a great time and just spectacular view that you never get tired of. It's been a great experience today. Wonderful. On a final note, you definitely want to get there before it opens. By the time we left, the parking lot was full. This ends today's adventure. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release our next Trexpedition video. Remember to turn off our noisy world, get outside, and enjoy the great outdoors. <laughs>